In this video we will discuss the minimum size of a protection dog or in other words minimum protection dogs in size. So some people tell you my yacht terrier is a perfect protection dog because he is uh, very wary of strangers and also uh, very determined and that might be and I'm not taking anything away from their bravery but there is something like physics if you have a dog of 8 to 12 kilograms they will be easily uh, manipulated so for example lift it up and smack down on the ground again which will lead to injury so for example broken bones broken ribs broken skull something like that and there is a minimum size in my opinion that you need for a dog to do uh, protection work it could be different for example if you have that yacht terrier of 12 kilograms but you have two or three of them that will be completely different because they might be able to manipulate uh, one but the others will still uh, do the damage so to say and that could be adding up so it will halt an intruder or an attacker and there's also another thing uh, the alertness doesn't depend on the size eh? very often a dog that is smaller is more alert than a bigger type of dog also more energetic and another factor is next to alertness that it doesn't depend on size do you want your dog to halt an intruder take up its time or do you want a dog that can defeat an intruder and it is in my opinion an enormous difference so for example if you want a dog that can defeat an intruder a band dog type of dog man stopping type of dog mastiff molosser could be your best pick because they have size and a lot of strength on their side whereas if you want a dog that keeps an intruder busy a smaller dog would also do quite well. Of course, as I mentioned, the smaller size also uh, offers more uh, opportunity to manipulate and injure. So for example, the big molosser, also when it gets uh, hurt or stabbed, they still have quite a big chance to survive. Yeah? If you can see in this, um, if you can ask a hunter, for example, a very big boar, it's really hard to stop. They need a very long knife to, to hit the heart and to make it, uh, yeah, make it bleed out, so to say. Whereas a smaller one is very easy because there's only a small amount of room. So a big amount of room with a big hawk to the heart. And with a small dog, it's like this. So it would be very easy to hit the heart and there are some examples to just name then back to the question for a dog that can solely uh, have some stopping ability I think it should be around 20 kilograms minimum so and if you have a smaller dog you need more than one you need two or three if you have for example 12 kilogram dog as I mentioned earlier I think two 12 kilogram dogs can still cause uh, yeah, cause trouble and will delay an intruder whereas uh, a really uh, stopping power should be 40 kilograms plus and then you could have a small band dog for example that being said the small dogs can double the alertness if you have multiple dogs for the same kilograms of dogs have a great day. This morning we are going to talk about the Predator Defense Dog, which is a new American breed and is being bred to protect against predators such as wolves, bears, coyotes, bobtails, other lynxes, but also smaller predators such as foxes, raccoons, and also for feral hawks. The breeds that they used to create this breed are predominantly 
uh, the Rottweiler, the German breed of Molosse, and the Johnson type American Bulldog, which is an American breed of Bulldog and is quite massive. Whereas the Rottweiler is one of the smallest mastiffs or Molosse type of dogs, the American Johnson Bulldog is the biggest of all the Bulldogs there are. And they use a specific line, a specific line of American Bulldogs that had better characteristics as in drive and possibilities. So both the Rottweiler and the American Bulldogs are being used as guardian breeds, whereas some Bulldogs were also used as catch dogs, for example catching feral hawks, so thereby combining uh, guardian defense dog qualities against human kinds, because they talk about this uh, relative defense dog as a dog to face off with predators, but they also face off with humans. And in that case, the purpose looks a lot like that of a, a band dog. And the band dog is also there to uh, deal with man or beast and to protect against those that bring harm. So that also gives you a uh, perspective if you want something else along the similar lines and protection against uh, humans what pilots are uh, a very good choice if you get them for working lines and why is that the case? because you get the protection properties of a guard dog mixed with a little bit more laid back character as compared to for example uh, a shepherd type of uh, guardian dog and also you have the size you have man stopping ability and the size of a Johnson Bulldog on average is uh, similar to even bigger than that of a Rottweiler so also these Johnson type Bulldogs have uh, great stopping power so that brings you to the uh, topic what other breeds did they use they wanted to increase the grid and therefore they uh, bred in working type uh, American Pit Bull Terrier, which is a true gladiator dog, but they use uh, extra large lines. So therefore they also bred in a lot of weight pulling uh, Pit Bull type of dogs. In my opinion, I like the heteroses, so they have uh, increased the gene set. Still, the dogs look uh, predominantly Rottweiler type. So, if you like Rottweilers, this could be an interesting alternative. But, in my opinion, there might be some better choices, and I will explain why. Rottweiler is uh, a dog that is suitable for protection, but lately this dog breed has a low percentage of uh, working specimens. And there are other breeds, and they use this XL uh, pit bull terrier type to do not give away too much of the size <coughs> and the size range of this uh, predator defense dog is between uh, 100 and 160 pounds so about 45 to 72 kilograms which is quite big to begin with so that's the point and there are other types that are being worked more consistently that have similar uh, attributes to Rottweiler for example the Bourbon and the Bourbon is also already bred to deal with human threats, but also animal threats. So for example, baboons, leopards, hyenas, 
and the likes. So that could be a better choice. Or go with, for example, a livestock protection breed that has been developed to protect against wolves and bears predominantly. So for example, if you want a shorter coat, there are dogs like the Alibi that also due to this uh, very uh, thick, strong skull and big power and size, bigger than the Rottweiler even. So that could be <coughs> an alternative source of Rottweiler and then being uh, dealing with uh, some predators if you want to have a, a Johnson type of Bulldog. Of course you get the biggest type of Bulldog but also that with the least drive and the least athletic, athletic uh, properties. Normally a cat, uh, American Bulldog, would be Scott type or Margarita Painter, which are far more athletic and look a lot more like a Dogo Argentino than a Johnson Bulldog. Dogo Argentino is another dog breed that is, has been developed to deal with, for example, predators such as Puma, but especially with uh, hawks. So my worries are that both the Johnson and the uh, Rottweiler carry a too little uh, prey drive and also uh, are not as athletic as they should be. So therefore if you introduce another factor you will be almost producing a scatterbred dog that could be very healthy but also would be hard uh, pressed to uh, deliver uh, with consistency the type of pups that you want. So for example if you would go with Alibi which is a livestock protection breed and uh, Scott type American Bulldog you would have similar size a lot more athletic capabilities and a lot more drive and also Bulbul could be a superior choice even increasing bulk as compared to for example Rottweiler Another thing is, uh, there are many good bando programs. For example, American Sentinel K9 that are specifically developed to deal with uh, threats, being human or hunting hawks. So they are not as much uh, to deal with animals that come, uh, come on your turf. But their protective nature, their hunting drive, as well as uh, their predator uh, disposal skills and strength, would be a very good choice. And these uh, dogs are bred uh, true and very much look like an XL American Pitbull Terrier of game lines. So not so much weight pool, but game lines. And they uh, are in the bottom range of this predator defense dog already it could be a far better choice also if you would look to, uh, towards extra large American pit bull terriers especially weight pool ones so those are some of the factors uh, to consider that being said I like the initiative a lot but I think it could be executed far better and therefore I gave some uh, pointers I hope that you like this video, if you do let me know if you have some additional information that you want to uh, share or why these choices were made over the choices that I propose, please let me know, have a great day.